Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to Book Cook's Zucchini Edition. This is our second zucchini recipe for August. I know that in the summer, uh, anybody who grows zucchini has tons of zucchini. So we're using again, the classic zucchini cookbook. Uh, today we are making zucchini cheddar biscuits. Zucchini season isn't usually soup season, too hot, uh, but nothing goes better with soup than these cheddar and zucchini laced biscuits. It's a good thing you thought ahead and put some grated zucchini in the freezer for recipes such as this one. So you can, with all of your zucchini, you're wondering how can you store it for the long term, shred it up and put it in the freezer and then you'll thaw it out to make these, rest to make these biscuits um, if you want some for your soup or just do it now fresh like me because biscuits are for all seasons. Um, so because I'm using fresh zucchini, what I needed to do was I needed to um, salt it and put it over a strainer, this is in my sink, um, to get all of the liquid out. So I salted, I shredded it on a grater and then I put it over, um, I put it in the strainer over a bowl and salted it and just kind of mixed it up. I let it sit for about half an hour and when I came back, there was all of this liquid in the bowl and then I squeezed it really well. You can squeeze it with a tea towel, paper towel, your hands and get the extra liquid out. What I'm left with is this shredded zucchini that still has some moisture, but it's not liquidy. It's not gonna ruin the, cons the consistency of our biscuits. Right now I have my oven heating up to 400. I'm using my toaster oven, oven air fryer, um, because it's too hot to use my big oven. This one does not heat the kitchen up that much, thankfully. Um, so I have my ingredients all ready here. I have a nice big bowl with three cups of flour. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're going to add in baking powder and baking soda and pepper. Here. So let's see, about half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Just a little bit more. Okay. Um, there's already salt in my zucchini. You're also supposed to use unsalted butter. I only have salted, um, so I don't need to add any extra salt to. Uh, baking soda, two teaspoons of baking soda. And then it's one tablespoon of baking powder. sift it together. Um, I don't have a sifter. So. But whisk it together just to keep it light and airy. But it breaks up any clumps that there may be, but we just want to make sure that those leavening ingredients are mixed evenly throughout here. I got that going. going to do next is cut in the butter until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Um, so when you cut in the butter, usually you have like a pastry cutter thing. You could use your fingers. You don't want your fingers to be too warm. I know sometimes you can have, I've seen people have like a bowl of ice water next to them. Um, I'm just going to, I have my sink right here, so I'm going to rinse my fingers in cold water if I feel like my hands are getting too warm. But you want your, your mixture to get nice and crumbly. Then we're going to add in cheese, egg, buttermilk. These are buttermilk biscuits and zucchini. So I'm going to go ahead and just get my butter in there. Butter is nice and cold. Let me get a knife. Yeah. 
right? You just want nice little slices of cubes that are going to be all together throughout. To help mix it through. And so the zucchini is going to add, you know, nutrients and fiber and flavor texture but it also adds a little bit of extra moisture in there um, again we we soaked out a lot of the water because we don't want it to you know make the biscuits too watery they'll never cook they'll never cook in the center they'll just be liquid they'll be mush they'll be sad um, but some of that extra moisture is nice a nice moist biscuit. All right, let me rinse my hand with some cold, cold water. Cold, cold, cold. I'm just going to start to kind of mix this in here. You can also do this in a food processor. Um, Again, you can have that, the pastry cutter, whatever it is that you need to get this done. But I'm not gonna use my hands because it's fun, why not, right? Um, I think we've made biscuits together once before. I made those cream biscuits that were literally just flour and cream, and that was amazing, and they were delicious. Um, but I, I've never made a buttermilk biscuit recipe from scratch before. So I saw this and I love, I love cheese. I love cheddar cheese. Uh, so I thought, okay, let's give this a try with, you know, no guilt because there's all those nutrients from the zucchini. It's practically a vegetable. Um, I know it's not. Shh. All right, I'm just feeling around for any that may have too many big chunks of butter. And I have some coarse crumbs coming through here. I feel like I have more flour than I have butter. Um, okay. Right, but you do want your butter to mix in evenly. We do need butter in an every little piece here because that creates those beautiful pockets it creates texture it's flavor um, and, and it helps to create the steam that gives you some rise and some lift as well Almost done preheating. I do have some crumbs. I feel like there's not that much, not enough butter in here, but it said three tablespoons, and that's what I did. So, all right. Let me give my hands a rinse. Yes, new camera angle. Usually I put the camera in front of the sink, but I got you this way, behind the sink, so that you can see the whole counter today. All right, so let's add in the cheddar, the egg, the buttermilk, and the zucchini. Put everything in there. This comes together pretty easily. All right, here's my, here goes my cheddar. Oh, it is preheated. I'm gonna leave that door closed. Here goes my buttermilk. My egg. the zucchini. So 
says toss with a fork to mix well. Like, okay, really a little fork? Let's follow their technique. A fork? Okay. I guess using a fork helps to keep it light. I have no idea. I don't know why we're saying fork. But I'm gonna follow the instructions because that's what I do most of the time. If you've watched enough of these, you know that I don't always actually follow the rules. <laughs> Definitely make sure you're mixing well. As with um, all of the ingredients, we want to make sure we get everything mixed in as evenly as possible. I don't want there to be any pockets of egg in one spot and not evenly mixed throughout the whole batter. Uh, I want to make sure that there's going to be cheese and zucchini in every single bite. It smells good, I can tell you that. The buttermilk smells great. And it just makes it really tangy and gives a great texture, apparently. The, the fat in that buttermilk. I'm going to go in and give a toss with my hands because I don't want to overwork this with the fork, which is what I feel like is happening. I feel like I'm overworking it with the fork. Um, and because I'm using real flour, I don't want to overwork the gluten because then my biscuits are going to be tough. So I'm going to give this, this is mixed pretty well, but I'm going to get in with my hands. That's why I just washed them. Um, I'm going to get in with my hands and just give it another good toss because there's still some dry flour on the bottom and on the edges. And I just want to make sure everything is moistened without continuing to really over mix this with my fork because I just feel like that's what's going to end up happening. Um, because it's a big bowl. There's a lot going on here. All right, so let me just get in here really quickly so I can get underneath. Yeah, see, it's all dry underneath. And just kind of turn everything over. So verdict on the fork, eh. hands messy, but that is okay. It's all part of the fun. Oh, oh yes. Yes. I don't, can you, I don't know if you can hear her, but I guess we're hunting right now. Licorice. I think we're hunting for our mouse. Not a real mouse. I don't have mice in my house. Fake mouse. Just trying to get a, like another little pocket of flour here. Come on, buddy. So now I'm just kind of tossing it. I'm not mushing it. I'm not kneading it. I'm just giving it a toss to finish the the mixing. Um, some of this off my fingers. And I think that should be good. Right, not bad. And so basically then you just drop these onto the, onto a prepared pan uh, lined with parchment, foil, greased, whatever, whatever is your preferred method. I have my little toaster oven pan right here, so I'm just gonna make little drops and toss them right on to here. It is sticky, you can use a spoon. My hands are already dirty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop these on. It says it makes about 24 biscuits, so I'll have to do couple of batches because this is a smaller sized oven. There you go, my friend. Okay, 
I'm just looking, there is like a whole little excerpt here about what I was saying with the excess moisture. The trick with using zucchini and other summer squash in baked goods is to get rid of excess moisture before you start, which is what I said I did before. Um, most recipes call for grating the squash, salting it, and letting it drain before adding the zucchini to the batter. The zucchini will add days to the storage capacity of the bread and fiber to the diet, like I said before. Right? It's a health food. Um, let's see. If you have frozen grated summer squash, you skip the salting. Um, I didn't get to talk about this before, but I said because mine is fresh, I have to salt it. So here's, here's what you do if you did do the frozen. Like I said before, you saved some zucchini for a rainy day from your garden. Um, you skip the salting step because the freezing process itself breaks down the cell walls. The squash will still need to be briefly drained and the batter will need the salt that would have been added to the grated squash. Um, so you will need to add some salt into your batter. I'm making these pretty big. Hello. She's in here, but she's on the other side of the camera. Yes. What? Hi. Yes. Oh, she wants me to pick. Her. She wants me to pick her up. <laughs> okay, we're hyper. We're hyper. We want to play. All right. Yeah, these are too big. What am I doing? I'm creating a monster. Um. So yeah. So you'll add the salt in with the um, pepper and baking soda and baking powder. You'll add it in with your dry ingredients. Of course, again, unless you're like myself and you are using salted butter, you probably don't eat. Uh, but it does say that if you do not add salt, your bread will taste flat. You're gonna, you put all of these beautiful things in here, the buttermilk, the cheddar, the zucchini, even the pepper, and if you don't add salt, none of those flavors are gonna come to life. It's just, just the way it is. You need salt to enhance your flavors. Okay, so I'm gonna go put these in the oven and wash my gluteny hands and we'll come back when these are done and we will try them. I will get to try them hot out of the oven with all that melted cheese. I'm so excited. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I've cleaned up these. The last batch here is in the oven. Uh, remember mine is a convection bake, so it is actually cooking a little bit quicker. I think I have been checking on them at about 10 minutes instead of 15. Um, you're checking to make sure that they're golden brown. And then of course, because they're a biscuit, it's not like a cake or anything. When you touch it, it shouldn't be uh, too springy. It's not a cake, it's a biscuit, it's denser. Um, so these are just about done. They're pretty golden brown, so I'm gonna turn them off. And uh, pull them out show you what they look like of course they're drop biscuits they're not meant to be beautiful they are very nice though um so there we go i got that i'm gonna put this over here i'm gonna unplug this you have done you have done your duty thank you very much <laughs> um i'll show you the very large pile of biscuits that I have over here. <gasps> Look at all these biscuits. They smell good. They look good. They're little pockets of cheddar. You can see the zucchini. They're nice and golden brown. Okay, I'm just taking a little one for right now. And I have some delicious salted cultured butter. It's actually a vegan butter, but it tastes like butter. Um, just because I like the taste of it. It has nothing to do with the fact that this is filled with dairy, um, but I just really like the taste of it. I'm just going to open this up. Look at the inside. Mm, steamy pockets, cheese, and zucchini. I'm just going to put a little bit of this butter right on in there and let that melt a little bit and then I'm gonna dig in. Look at that. The butter's just melting into those pockets. Delicious hot 
biscuit. Nice and brown on the bottom. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited to try this. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is very good. They're very soft. They're not tough. Perfect amount of crunch on the outside and very soft inside. A little tangy from the buttermilk and also this salted butter. Serve it with a salted butter or dunk it into your soup, whatever, but it will enhance the flavor a little bit more. Perfect texture. Sorry, <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Perfect texture, very soft, perfect biscuit flavor. And it doesn't taste like a vegetable, but it adds a little bit of texture and probably lends itself to that softness that's just running throughout. It's a very, very soft biscuit. It's not dry at all. It's not dry, it's not crummy. It's very smooth. And so remember, I did not overwork this biscuit. I did not roll it out a million times. I didn't cover it in flour. It's a sticky drop dough. You can use your hands or I used a spoon for the rest of them. Um, just like a little, a little greased up spoon and you just scoop it and then drop it. That's where the name comes from onto the prepared pan. Um, you know, you're not covering it with flour. You don't want it to be crummy or anything like that. These are just meant to be really soft and they are. And it was pretty easy to put together and I'm really happy with them. They taste so good. So remember, you can do this if you have an abundance of zucchini you don't know what to do with and you don't wanna make biscuits right now. Okay, that's fine. Shred up your zucchini, put it in the freezer. You can make these biscuits with your thawed, drained, well-drained, frozen zucchini. Uh, or you can make it fresh if you're in the mood for biscuits right now, which like I said before, there's there's never a bad time for biscuits. They're for all seasons. Okay, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed our exploration of zucchini this month. Next month, we're gonna do pumpkin to get ready for a full season of pumpkin wonders. No pumpkin spice lattes here. I'll show you what we have beginning of September. It'll be up on our website. These recipes are also up on our website right now, or you can grab the classic zucchini cookbook at the library. All right, everyone, I'll see you next time. Bye.